Hello everyone, going back a few months now, never got a chance to open any of this particular product, but it's never too late to play the Scarab God game, I guess. Basically Scarab God or bust. They do have the good card frame cards in here, obviously, but supposed to have higher odds in these, but yeah, probably not. So, we're just gonna crack some packs just for fun. I had this sitting around on my shelf, so let's go. There's no real commons you need to look for, just straight to the uncommons. Ship Oasis, Vizier of the True, Vizier of the Anointed, Angel of Condemnation. Obviously, Uncommon's looking for a braid. Uh, other rares. Mm, nothing really too insane, even mythic wise. It's really just Scarab God that you want. Razaketh's right. Chandra's defeat. Unraveling Mummy. Apocalypse Demon. And a full art. Full art's not quite as good as the uh, new unstable full art, but beggars can't be choosers. Let's see. Farmed market, quarry beetle, inferno jet, and there we go. Through third pack in and a scarab good. I can quit now and sell the rest of these individual packs and still make money. But I'm not going to. Because where's the fun in that? Fervent Paincaster, Desert's Hold, Eternal Harsh Truths, Hostile Desert. Put the scare I've got over here. Maybe if we can get a uh, invocation scarab god to go with our regular, that'd be pretty nice. Yep. Angel of the God Pharaoh, Supreme Will. There's a foil in this pack. Struggle to survive and a Bontu's Last Reckoning. That's just a foil common. A Lurching Rot Beast. Put foils off to the side over here. Didn't get to do much with Hour of Devastation, as I said earlier. Just work schedules clashed a lot with it. Played one sealed event, and I think that was it. Had no idea how to play the format due to no practice, but shit happens. Jace's Defeat, Resolute Survivors, Consigned to Oblivion, Wildfire Eternal, and a Foil Full Art. Pretty keen for Rivals of Ixalan to come out. Standard format's getting pretty stale at the moment, pretty repetitive. It was pretty exciting for the first few weeks. Everyone was brewing and then everyone just sort of gave up. There's another foil on this back too. Endless Sands, Devotee of Strength. So yeah, it's mainly just energy decks. Just getting a bit boring. But who knows, it might just carry on again. Energy seems to have been a pretty good choice for the last couple of standards, so might stay the course or we might get some new merfolk or pirate or dinosaurs. Make it a nice tribe deck, tribal deck, doomful, resolute survivors, struggle to survive. My name is Neheb. Foil Ominous Sphinx. Yeah. 
I'm going to get the pack open. And there's another foil in this pack. Jesus Christ. Merciless Eternal, Tenacious Hunter, If Near Deadlands, and Samut the Tested, and uh, it's our foil rare, Scavenger Grounds. And nothing exciting. Definitely limits our chance of getting a invocation. Still haven't seen it a braid though. There's a foil in this pack and it looks like an invocation board frame. Holy shit. Quarry Beetle, Ramanap Ruins, Bane Whip, Punisher, and Hour of Devastation. And let's go for the Locust Guide. Boom. Yep, that's a thing. That is definitely a thing that can go right front and center here. Well, I definitely don't need to open any more of the box now, do I? Got these two bad boys happening. But with, uh, let's see, what have we got here? Two, four, six, eight. We've still got about 24 packs. So uh, yeah, I should probably keep opening. <laughs> Might get ourselves a second Scarab God. You never know. Chandra's Defeat, Angel of God Pharaoh, Consigned to Oblivion, and Amit Eternal. Well, box just went from pretty good to insanely good. Crook of Condemnation, Merciless Eternal, Inferno Jet, and Hour of Eternity. Don't really have much else to ramble about now. I've got pretty much two cards that I was hoping for, being a Invocation and a Scarab God. Another Ramanap Ruins, Banewick Punisher, Oketra's Last Mercy. So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave these two guys in the forefront here and hope for more insaneness. Still, no braids. Driven to despair. And I honestly don't think we're going to get any more foils because we've had... What's that? Five, six foils, including the invocations. So I think we're pretty much done on foils for our box. River Hoopoo. Hope Tender. And as I say, that there's another foil in this pack, I think. Sand Strangler and Pride Sovereign. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Cunning Survivor. I'm interested to see, because I haven't opened much of this product at all, I want to see how it handles the, uh, the humidity and stuff. Oh, there's another foil in this pack too. Obviously with the not so great card quality as of late, the cards bend pretty much 10 minutes after being opened in a pack, so... We'll just have to wait and see. Supreme Will, Dunes of the Dead, Vile Manifestation, Godberry's Give Us, not too bad. Oh, another foil rare. Amit Eternal. So that's two foil rares and an invocation in this box. So, uh, box not bad, box not bad. Farm to Market, Riddle Form, Obelisk, Spider, and Hollow One. This is a bit of modern play.
probably about halfway through the box now and I'd say this one was definitely worth it. Hope Tender, Sunset Pyramid, Sun Scourge Champion and another Hostile Desert. I've had two foil rares before in a box. I've never had a third. I don't like my chances, obviously, but hey, we can dream. Leave to chance. Ruin rat and foil. The foil looks very odd. Even the cards have a very odd sort of look to them. Very shiny. Not quite like the old stock back revised era. A nice sort of dull feel and look to it. And this is defeat. There's an abrade. Saving grace. Oh, Scorpion God. That's alright. That's four mythics for the box. And seriously, we still have this many packs to go. Different sort of uh, distribution in this as compared to uh, Ixalan. Ixalan has the flippers, which sort of take a spot of a mythic sometimes, so those boxes you can only really average two, two to three mythics, whereas regular boxes are sort of closer to the four to five range. Let's just have a quick look on here. So, premium card odds, uh, one in every 67 cards with a masterpiece in one in every 1,935 cards. So, if we do manage to pull a second one out of this box, then how about them odds? Sinuous Striker, Dunes of the Dead, Vile Manifestation, Hour of Promise. Obviously we can only expect so much. I am more than happy with how this box has gone. So, anything more is just really bonus. Dream Stealer and Bane Whip Punisher. However, let's just have a quick look at that. Try it again. One in every 67 cards, right there premium card odds approximately and we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine foils in this box usually sort of five to six no problem that nine foils isn't including this by the way so five to six is roughly what I'd expect out of a box there's another one in this pack too this is getting ridiculous unconventional tactics crypt of the eternal scum scourge champion Ramanap Hydra, Graven Abomination. So yeah, that makes 10 foils plus the Masterpiece. So, I think this box is a bit, uh, bit strange in the distribution. Champion of Wits. Restack my bulk commons. It's getting a bit uh, wonky. And I still managed to knock it over. Magmaroth, Claim to Fame, Dune Divider, Ramanap Excavator. It's the uh, draft promo. 
everyone was saying, you know, new crucible of worlds, blah, 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 never really happened. Haship Oasis, Upraid, Saving Grace, and Mirage Mirror. Down to the last. Eight packs. We've got four mythics. I think we're probably due maybe one more. Definitely should be no more foils after this point. Appeal Authority, Sift Worm, Sand Strangler, Torment of Hailfire. Gideon's Defeat, Overcome, and Chaos More. Nice little Wrath Effect. Yeah, this box has been insane. Very happy with it. Razketh's right, Riddle Form, Obelisk Spider, and there's our next mythic and last mythic of the box, most likely, Uncage the Menagerie. Four packs left after this. There really isn't anything else we need. Maybe just another abrade. Kefnet's last word. If we can get one more abrade out of that, I'll be happy. Three abrades in the box would be pretty good. Unconventional tactics, Jace's defeat, Dagger of Worthy, and Imminent Doom. Now we're definitely in the bulk rare section of the box. So the uh, left hand side of the box provided pretty much these two and these two and then everything else has come out of the middle further on. River Hoopoo, Torment of Scarabs, Burning Fist Minotaur and Scavenger Grounds. That was a similar case with, oh what was it, Eldritch Moon? For a while, I think it was the Liliana pack or something was producing 90 to 95% of Mythics, so you'd always just open those packs first just to see what it was. Claim to fame, June Divider, Refuse to Cooperate. And very last pack. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I definitely did. And let's just roll the dice one more time. Haship Oasis, Curse the Horde, No Third Abraid, and another Wildfire Eternal. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Enjoy your day.